All right, well, let's get this show on the road. Hey there, folks. Uh, welcome back to another episode of my Final Fantasy III Let's Play. I think we're... Oh, jeez, I've lost track of how many... <laughs> this is either episode 8 or 9. We'll just... We'll call it episode 8-ish. Um, so, again, thank you for joining me. I'm, I'm Mike of Team Brothership. No John or Paul here today. They all have better things to do, they said, than sit and watch me play old Final Fantasy games. Must be nice to have that kind of robust, fulfilling lifestyle. Uh, but anyway, uh, as always, we're, we're here just having a real chill time playing a, a classic Final Fantasy. And this is a, this is a particularly uh, momentous episode, though. Uh, you'll remember last time um, we, we settled on... Uh, well, we found Thamasa, the, the magic village, and recruited Strago and Realm to help us try to negotiate with the espers that had attacked the Empire. We were successful in that mission, but uh, shockingly, the Emperor and Kefka betrayed us, uh, killed all the espers, took the magicite, and then created some kind of uh, weird floating continent in the sky that we have to deal with now. So we will be momentarily heading off to, uh, to assault that floating continent and try to prevent the Emperor from taking over the whole world using three magical statues. <laughs> I mean, how often have we heard that story, right? Um, but before we do that, I wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping. So just as an FYI, uh, I spent a few minutes uh, in between this uh, our last session and this session doing a few things. I I uh, taught a bunch of my team some magic. I went and learned all of the available dances for Mog for this point in the game. Uh, I did find another Esper that I had forgotten about in the um, the, uh, the auction house, Zone Seek, which is actually a really good one. <laughs> he he gives you a plus two or it. I don't know, it's kind of a weird looking thing. Uh, it gives us a plus two magic power boost at level up. So that's definitely one that's going to be. Uh, positioned on most of our magic users for the um, <laughs> foreseeable future. Uh, and just a few other little odds and ends. I went back and gathered up some of the items that I'd missed and forgotten. Um, so there, there are a couple, just one or two quick little things that I wanted to do. Um, no, we do not want to find the floating continent. Not quite yet. Uh, just one or two things that I wanted to do before we headed off. Uh, one of which is, now that we've got access to our airship, um, so the, you can see we're at, we're at a little triangular island in the kind of northeastern con uh, part of the map. Um, and I just wanted to show there's a um, particularly unique enemy here uh, who's really good to grind on at this point in the game. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, spoilers, but after this next dungeon, a lot of the previous areas become inaccessible. Uh, so we want to make sure we kind of get everything done. Oops, that was the wrong blitz. Um, we want to make sure we get everything done now, <laughs> because if we don't, it's gone forever. Like, yeah, you can actually miss one of Mog's dances if you don't do the water one, uh, because both the, um that river and that underground trench area become inaccessible. So we want to wrap up a few things. Uh, but yeah, I want to show off this one this one enemy before we move on. I was also going to have us go back and forth and do the whole little letter side quest with the uh, injured soldier in Mobiliz and his girlfriend in Miranda. Jeez, they don't want to show up today. Uh, but I, I did a little test run of that um, before I started recording, and it's there's not really anything to that. It's just a little bit of dialogue, so you just fly back and forth um, helping the wounded soldier get letters from his uh, his girlfriend, but yeah, it's, it's not really all that interesting, so we will, uh, we will skip that in the interest of not boring you all, but I do want to find this guy. Um, they don't show up all the time, but they're... Ugh. <laughs> okay, if they don't show up in the next two encounters, we're just going to move on because that's boring. Uh, so you can see this is 
sort of my party that I'm going to be using to attack the uh, the floating continent, as it's known. You actually have to... we'll get to this momentarily, but you have to um, pair down to a party of three. Oh god. Usually these things are not super hard to find, but... Um, <laughs> I'm sure you're really getting into just watching me fight these extremely low-level enemies obliterate them with fire dances and dual wielding characters. Um, yeah, it's just a, a he's a weird enemy. I've killed a bunch of them, so they'll show up in the Velt later if I need to record something later. Here we go. Okay. So, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's nothing here. Uh, so this is the the Intanger. Um. He is actually afflicted with the sleep status effect right now. So there's a couple of things going on here. This is kind of a trick enemy, but part of the issue is I think he's kind of glitched out too. So um, let's just try attacking him. All right, that doesn't do anything. So you can't hit him with anything. He's technically asleep, but I think because of the way the game handles it, um, he's treated as he's invisible, which means they're, uh, you're very vulnerable to magic, but not uh, very vulnerable to physical attacks. So let's just blast him with some magic so you can see. Oops, he healed. Okay, so yeah, he looks like a behemoth-type enemy, and he will respond to most attacks with a very brutal magical counterattack that at this point in the game will probably wipe out your party. Um, but, uh, let's see, do we have Vanish? Okay. Uh, actually, maybe we can kind of sleep on him? Let's see if this works. Uh, because of his glitched status effect, uh, he... No, that's not going to work. Um, because of his glitch status effect, though, he is very, very vulnerable to magic, uh, including our Doom spell. Although, I don't know, this might miss because he is... Uh, yeah. Alright, let's try... Oops. <laughs> Good lord. Alright, we're just gonna wallop him, and he's probably going to savagely counterattack us. Oh. Oh, yeah, here it comes. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna feel too great. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, but he's he's sleeped himself again, so what we can do... Uh, well, actually, first, let's, uh, <laughs> let's revive our team. Heal everybody back up. Um... So, yeah, he is, uh, he's very vulnerable to magic right now in this status effect. So I am just going to blast him with a Doom spell, which is an instant kill spell, which should off him. Yeah. Now, well, there's that counterattack, but it doesn't matter, because he's dead. Whoops, well, so is Terra. <laughs> oh well. Sorry, Terra, you had to take one for the team. Um, so you'll notice he gave 10 magic points, which is a very, very uh, large amount of magic points to get from a killed enemy. So this is a nice place to, um, to grind at this point in the game and just kind of kill those things over and over again until they're all dead or until you're, <laughs> you've maxed out whatever magic you want. Um, but we don't really need to do that right now. Okay. So that's all. I just wanted to show you that guy. Actually, um, because they fixed most of the glitches in the Game Boy Advance port, that Doom thing doesn't really work on him anymore, which makes them almost impossible to kill at this point in the game, unfortunately. Um, so, are we all set to go? Uh, yeah, you can see everybody's got a lot more magic now, because they, they learn spells very fast, killing those Intangers. You don't need a ton of magic at this point in the game, but it's good to have uh, good to at least have everybody know some cure spells, some uh, some fun stuff like that. Put that back on him. I think uh, 
I think Sabin actually knows every spell. Oh, he doesn't know that. And how's everybody's stats doing? Yeah, a little while till everyone levels up. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna take this off of her. That's fine. Okie dokie, so we are all set to go making a um, a wild... Uh, <laughs> no, we're not all set, because I just noticed didn't plug my computer in, and it's going to run out of batteries. So I'm going to edit this part out. All right, some real professionalism there. Now we are all set to... Uh, Go make a wild Lancelot style, or I'm sorry for you, for you kids, uh, Leroy Jenkins style attack on this floating continent. So here we go. And they pair our party down to three uh, for. <laughs> uh, there's no real story justification for that. It's it's purely um, uh, because of uh, the mechanics of the game. All right, here we go. Just flying up. All right, so now you can see these little sprites are flying around. These are uh, Empire Magitek Air Troops, Imperial um, Imperial Air Force. So yeah, we just get attacked a bunch of times right now. So we have to survive a few. Yeah, they're mostly pincer attacks. We have to survive a few. Um, of these encounters with the Imperial troops, which shouldn't be too bad. We're we're in pretty good shape right now. We should be able to thrash these guys pretty handily. Nope, did it get him? Nope. Yeah, and they're Magitek armor, so they're all pretty vulnerable to a uh, bolt <laughs> and and chainsaws apparently. So that's good. Oops, I didn't see how much experience we got from that. Yep, they're shooting at us now. You see some little explosions. I think there's like four or five encounters with these guys. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, like I said, we're, we're pretty uh, handily able to stomp these guys. Yeah, did I get them? Oh, come on. I think the um, the Spitfire is slightly more powerful than the... I've already forgotten the other one's name. <laughs> Oops. Come on, Sabin. You look like a professional. Wow, that's triggering every single time. I wonder if it's... If her magic is higher? I don't know. That's fine. I mean, it'll get a few of these guys. All right, make sure we're healing up. Like I said, I, I always try to have everybody know a fair amount of... Um, healing magic just because you know you're not gonna have everybody casting spells all the time but uh, you can have your folks who are on the sidelines uh, heal up between fights <laughs> couple more of these guys and then we get uh, Fun double boss. Oh wow! Good. Just gonna hit him. That should be enough. I think that somebody's about to gain some levels. I'll try not to be uh, super anal about <laughs> about this, but I am going to. Uh, one, and uh, once you've done this a few times, you can really max everybody out, so... Mm, only two this time. It's a fairly beefy ice spell. I'm wondering why they haven't used that more. Yeah, these guys have a few pretty vicious attacks, so I'm kind of surprised that uh, they haven't been pulling more of those out. Mm. 
No, something curious approaches. Yep, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> no, I, I do know, but... Yeah, it kind of stops there until you get in one more fight, and then I think it... I think there's three more fights to go. Or, I'm sorry, two more of these things. Um... And then the fight with that thing, because it's going to get around to the back of the ship. for him, but he silenced him. Unimportant. Okay, that should be some levels up. Level ups. Oh, nice. Terra learned warp. So, that was not from an Esper. That was just one of her natural skill learning abilities. Which one is she? I apologize. I'm going to be a little anal about this. So I think we get in another fight when he gets about halfway across the ship. Yeah. And then he'll reach the back and we get to find out who that fellow is. it for these guys, um, but I want to make sure everybody's health is topped off, and I'm also going to switch her to, you know what, I'm going to leave her, I was going to put a fire blade on, because I know this guy is vulnerable to fire, but I think the thing that we fight after, oh look who it is, oh boy, well, I hope you brought your handkerchiefs today, folks, because this is our... Yeah, <laughs> he's just said it. This is our last battle with Ultros. Um, it's a, a sad farewell to the creepy weirdo who has been haunting our footsteps throughout the game until this point. You know, Ultros really is... I know we talked a little bit about... Wow, walloped him. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, now there's this thing with two faces. Yeah, this this guy packs quite a bit more of a punch than Ultros does at this point in the game. Yeah, U Ultros is such a weird dude. Uh, we talked a little bit about, like, some of the comic relief villains that you run into in Final Fantasy. And I was thinking, as I was as I was doing my laundry today in preparation to uh, to record, I was thinking to myself about how... Um, most of the other comic relief villains at least have some kind of uh, tangential <laughs> connection to the plot of the game. You know, like you think the Turks, um, yeah, that's gonna hurt. No, not too bad. You know, you think like the Turks are obviously very tied to, um, Shinra Corporation, and, and thus the um, <laughs> the plot of uh, Final Fantasy VII. You know, you think Gilgamesh, he's uh, X-Death's right-hand man, so he's he, he shows up to... Oh, there he goes. That's the last of Ultros, so you actually don't even have to kill him. You just have to deal with this guy. Um, nice. Uh, once this guy goes down, that's the end of the fight, but I felt like polishing off Ultros. He's such a jerk. Alright, <laughs> stop doing the one-hit kill. It doesn't work against bosses. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other, like, comic relief villains throughout the games. Um, 
or like, I guess F Fujin and Raijin are kind of that in Final Fantasy VIII, and they're... Okay, we win. Well, that's the end of that, and now I want to talk about that a little bit more, but <laughs> we gotta deal with this first. God. Alright, uh... I want to take out the can cannons first. So there's three. It's this big ship that's shooting at us, but there's technically three targets here. Uh, we only have to kill the main ship, though. That's gonna hurt. Eh, not too bad. But you can blow off the other guns first, and they'll actually. Um, I don't think he revives them, but we really just want to take out this middle thing. It's gonna hurt too. Yep. All right. Well, we gotta do some healing when Terra's turn comes around again. Just took a little bit of a blow on that one. <sighs> that might have polished off Edgar. Damn it. Okay. Well. We'll, uh, we'll revive him. That should be enough to keep us going for a little while. I got a little sloppy about this. Oh, don't shoot Edgar again. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. Alright, he's back up. He'll be able to plug along for a little while longer still. Something... I don't know if it was the missile or the... Atomic Ray, but something definitely uh, gave us that um, poison, not poison status effect. I think it was the Atomic Ray. Uh, this guy's going to start summoning other people, too, if we don't wrap this fight up soon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can kill off the other cannons, but it, it's usually better to just aim for the the hub. These attacks are annoying, but they're not, uh, they're not gonna bring you down the way that the central one does. And I think if we kill, maybe it's when we kill both of them, he starts summoning out the other stuff. And we can feel free to blow through all our magic points right now, because we, uh, oh, there goes one cannon, so that's good. Uh, but we do get a save point once we <laughs> finish falling out of the sky like an idiot. All right, there it goes. Yeah. We're in very good shape right now, but the back-to-back -back boss fight is a little bit challenging. Pardon me for a moment. I've got uh, my warm tea here that I brought with me. Just ahead. How's everybody doing after that fight? Not too bad, other than Edgar getting knocked down for a moment. That didn't go too shabbily. And how's everybody's stats holding up? Yeah, he's in okay shape. And hey, hey look, who's that? Oh, come on. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise! It's like the hardest encounter you can get from these guys. Alright, who's he going after? Criminy. Oops. Well, at least we got the pincer attack, so they're... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do an aura bolt. Please kill one of these things. These are pretty damn strong, so I, I didn't really want to fight two of them immediately. Yikes! Yeah, like I said, uh... Oh, please kill that thing. Uh-oh. Okay. get killed by these friggin' random encounter and have to do that whole battle over again because I skipped the save point. I just wanted to get Shadow first. Come on, take him down. Ah! She's dealing a decent chunk of damage to him, though. Yeah, these guys have a lot of hit points. The, uh, the encounters on this island are, are no joke. They, they definitely pack more of a punch than... Uh-oh. Ow. Come on. 
can't get him. No. Oof, jeez. Well, that was no fun. <laughs> okay, well, everybody barely survived that, but I just wanted to get my other party member. Almost died for you, Shadow. <laughs> Thought you were a goner. He sure is. We got your nasty dog with us. <laughs> Alright, we forced ourselves on Shadow, so I'm gonna. Does he still have my sniper sight? Alright, so th this is why you can only have. Uh, three characters with you because um, because you need to allow Shadow to force himself into your party. Uh, so let's give him another... How's his stats doing? Okay. I'm going to give him some healing magic as well. The Sraphrim Esper is, uh, is very useful. Does he have any magic? I don't think so. He was only with us for... Yeah. Alright. Well... Let's heal up before we move on. Should have a million tents still. Okay, so we're now on the floating continent. Um, the encounters here are, are kind of kind of tough. Even we're in good shape right now, but they they do pack something of a punch. So gotta be a little careful as we shuffle around. Uh, but there's some good items that we can find here, uh, and it's not super long as far as dungeons go. These guys are kind of among the weaker of the enemies that you can wind up with. Oh, no, that sucks. So level three muddle. There's there's a handful of um, level spells in this game. There's like level five doom. There's a f couple others, uh, and it's basically they'll miss everybody except for characters. Um, whose level is a multiple of whatever the spell level is. Nice, that's um, a very good sword for Cyan, who is not with us. Yeah, these are one of the bigger encounters you can run into. I try to bring them down uh, one at a time. Or not one at a time, sorry, all as a group. Nice, that packs quite a wallop. This is a particularly irritating spell, and it can do quite a bit of damage, depending if it, uh... No, I think I'm going to regret that that happened. Yeah. <laughs> so that guy's undead, which means uh, he is invulnerable to Shadow's instant kill sword attack. I think his assassin weapon does a one-hit kill sometimes. Nice. Some good uh, magic for everybody. Stat check. It's doing all right. Yeah. So this this level this dungeon isn't super long, but it's a little bit of a maze. Uh, and if you're not careful, you can miss some decent items. <laughs> you just steal from that guy. <laughs> That's because he's got the the thief knife equipped. I didn't even think he could use that, but well, that's cool. some, um... This place kind of mutates depending on where you go, and you gotta... Ooh, that's not good. Well, thankfully, um... Oh, so what they're doing right now is they're attacking us with, uh... the same abilities that Shadow can use. So... You see that, uh, they can be pretty powerful. Come on, how did he survive that? Well, didn't survive that one for sure. <laughs> I 
If you take the ninjas quickly, they're not so bad, but they can really mess you up with those, um, those elemental scroll attacks that they have. There's also dragons on here, which we definitely want to fight at least one of them, because we want them to start showing up on the, uh, on the veldt. Alright, Terra learned her other spell. Um, I'm hoping those, uh, those dragons show up, because, uh, if Shadow can steal from them, they sometimes will drop Genji gloves, which are pretty useful. Uh, let's see, I think the only spell she doesn't know is poison <laughs> right now. to learn something decent. Put uh, effort on him. I think that'll get him a little strength boost. Mm, you know what? I think I actually want to go back. I think I missed something. There's a really yucky trap <laughs> chest around here, too, but it has a good... If you survive, it has a really good weapon, so I don't want to lose that. I'm going to be pretty liberal with the, uh, the magic here, because I don't want to die against these guys. <laughs> and like I said, it's not super... Um, it's not super long to get to the next save point, so... Ooh, a ninja star. That's pretty useful. I can have him thro start throwing some of his weapons, too, but with the Genji Glove on, he's, uh, he packs a decent wallop at this point. Ugh, enough with the ninjas. What is this, 1992? Yay, we can steal some ninja stuff from them. Now, Shadow kind of sucks at stealing because he's, uh, he's not built that way, so... Shadow's got a decent complement of uh, healing magic. We're going to start buffing him up as a, a real uh, beefy fighter, because that's, you know, he's more physical offense. Why are you... Oh, yeah. Totally forgot about these guys. Oh, nice. That's good. Those don't come back. Did he not do his... Well, I guess he wouldn't need to do his second attack because he killed it in one go. Good job, buddy. We're doing all the... If we one-hit kill all three of these guys, that's amazing. <laughs> I guess I've played this game enough that I've kind of worked out what... Uh... Okay, yeah, I, do... I don't think this is the trap one. Just in case. <laughs> no, it was. Okay. I think this is like a Goliath looking thing. Yeah. This guy packs something of a wallop, so. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Ooh, yep, that's the one I was thinking of. Is this the guy that only does counterattacks, though? Okay, yeah. That's what it is. Oh, do the interceptor thing. Whoops. Mm, not sure Edgar's gonna survive that one. Oh, okay. Whoa, hey! 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 Oh, crap! Please die. <laughs> oh man, okay. Wow. That was, uh... <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> well, if nothing else, uh, I feel like I've demonstrated my propensity for Phoenix Wright style, uh, just squeaking out victories. I think that's a shadow weapon. The Hardened. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm gonna swap that in place of the Thief Knife. Shadow seems pretty bad at stealing, so... Okie dokie. <laughs> Moving right along. Uh... <laughs> this Terra's about to gain a level, so we want to give her a little bit of a magic boost. Well, I hope you appreciate all the hassle we just went through for that shadow. Alright, these guys are undead, so they should be very vulnerable to the Aura Bolt. Um, so, of course, uh, Savin attacks the wrong guy. Uh, but they will handily shrug off the instant kills. So, that's bad. I'm kind of surprised I haven't... Uh, there we go. Hopefully that'll drop him. Uh-oh. There we go. So long. Um, uh, is he going to come back from that? I guess not. I wonder why... I'm not really sure what the difference is that would... Um, that would allow him to s revive after getting killed by the assassin dagger, but not... Uh, not the chainsaw. I mean, they obviously treat them a little bit differently for some reason, but uh, I, I don't know what that reason is. I'm kind of surprised I haven't run into any of the dragons yet. I definitely do want to run into at least one of them because you can steal Genji gloves from them. And while we don't really need too many more Genji gloves, because I think ultimately the two characters that I believe I will probably equip with Genji gloves are um, Celis and, and Shadow. So I don't think we need, we'll necessarily need more than that, but uh, they're good relics, so it's good to have them around. Some spares in case we need any. I'm gonna have Shadow throw something his next attack, see if that does any more damage, because he seems like he's not quite packing the punch that I was hoping he would. Wow, oh, he learned a bunch of garbage spells that he's never gonna use. Hooray. He's still... Oh, he learned all those. That's good. That's... <laughs> as far as magic goes, that's really all he needs. Um, Shadow is not going to be throwing around a lot of uh, spells for obvious reasons. I'll teach him the Doom spells. Those kind of fit with his, uh, his whole vibe of being an assassin. Oh, did I heal everybody? Yeah, they're fine. something. There we go, okay. There's a dragon. Uh, let's throw a shuriken at him, see how that goes. <laughs> well, it led to him ejecting Shadow from the battle. Sneeze is one of my least favorite moves for enemies to use because uh, they just excise you right from the fight. You're not dead, so you can't be revived. Um, but uh, and you don't lose any hit points, but you don't get any of the um, any of the boosts that you would normally get from. Oh shoot! No, oh, it's okay. You don't get any of the boosts that you would normally get from um, uh, actually winning the fight. Yeah, whatever. 
How's everybody else's stats holding up? That girl will be gaining a level fairly soon. Did I skip something up here? No. Okay. We're trying to get to kind of the middle, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have, oops. I throw, yeah, I'm just gonna have him throw shurikens from now on, he doesn't seem to be doing much damage with those knives, yeah, that, that's quite a bit more than he normally deals, so. I'm gonna move those to uh, did that work? Sure didn't. Alright. Just moving those to the top because I don't have to scroll through everything constantly. It'll save us a little bit of time. Like I said, our goal is to ultimately uh, move all of this landmass so we can get to kind of the the upper um, middle of the island. That's where the oops, I didn't heal up seven. I'm gonna do that. That's where the um, the boss is. See if Shadow can maybe do an instant kill on one of these guys. Speed things up a little bit. Nope. It's not gonna take super long to get through here, but we wanna be safe about things so we don't get murdered. not paying enough attention for my own good. Okay, I think that just opened the way back. I don't think that really accomplishes anything, but whatever. Now, see, now hitting her with silence is actually a problem if this fight drags out too long. But, which it probably won't, so we're probably okay. I think when they revive, they revive at, uh, at full health, too, so you can actually really screw yourself over by uh, continuing. Oops. I don't think he was equipped with the Esper that I wanted him to be. He's not even gaining any spells. Nuts to that. That's fine. I think this just goes back. Yeah. Although... Well, maybe that is the way forward. I want to do one other thing first before we go exploring that way, though. Oh, that's super annoying. So yeah, he he just cast the. Hopefully, it's seven. Nope. Come on. Uh, he, he just cast the invisibility spell on himself, which makes him super hard to hit with physical attacks. Thankfully, uh, those don't count as physical attacks, so I should smoke him with that thing. Yeah, invisibility, um, it's a pretty useless spell <laughs> for the for your, for your the player characters, but uh, for enemies, it's pretty irritating. So yeah, let me do one thing. Let me just pop over here. I think I came from the top, so I want to go this way real quick. Oh, come on. Yeah, these guys aren't too difficult, but uh, they have one attack 
that is very nasty at this point in the game. Oh, I should have done that fire dance, shouldn't I? They're really vulnerable to spells. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's undead too, really? I didn't know that. and waste of time. We're almost at the next save point, I think. Yeah, I can use some of Shadow's healing magic. Hmm. Not as bad as I would have thought. Yeah, the encounter rate on the floating continent is a little bit higher than it is in other places, too. Alright, so we do want to go here and just loop back around to where we were. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop kicking my friends out of the fight. Oops, did she... Hopefully she had his own seek equipped. She did. Good job, Mike. fight one head-on revenge. That shouldn't do anything, because you haven't hit us yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure revenge does exactly what it sounds like it would, which is uh, deal back whatever damage you dealt to them already. So if this thing is near the end of its life, that could be a huge problem, but as, the, as an opening gambit, it's not particularly smart. Seven got booted. Those guys are definitely worth the, um, yeah, there we go. The most. Oh, that's bad. Oh, boy. Okay. That's really bad. Well, that's alright. We'll, uh, we'll fight this fairly conservatively then. and heal so that as these guys wail on us, we can, uh... Oh, nice. Oh, that's one down fairly easily. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is definitely the first time playing through this game that the instant kills have really <laughs> played any... a significant Porsche, uh, part in any of the fighting. That was a little bit of a hard hit. Wow. Chainsaw is uh, earning its pay. Whoops. Did he have anything? Wrong Esper. Well, that's fine. Whatever. If I miss anything on this place, I don't think I will. Uh, but if I miss anything in this place, there's definitely no going back for it, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't. Yeah, I knew you were going to pull that nonsense on me. Killed that guy. Nice. And they are human enemies, so they don't, uh, <laughs> they're not. 
they're not gonna just walk that off. And everybody's doing pretty okay stat-wise. We got a decent amount of magic left. Like I said, there is a, another checkpoint coming up. Uh, let's see, where is it? I think it's over this way. I've been really ambushing these dragons. That's good. Ah, poor Shadow. <laughs> he never gets to stay in the fight to actually see the end of the dragon. It's blasted off. And you'd figure, too, uh, there's, there's a lot of... Oh, jeez. Okay, that's not great. Yeah, they, uh... Well, interest... <laughs> wow, so Edgar is... Edgar's gonna be the uh, lone dragon slayer here. Edgar. Interestingly, if he dies during this fight, you don't get a game over because your your party is still alive, so... I don't think this thing has too much left, so we should be able to get it. Yeah. Well, he's gonna get a lot of, uh... Yeah, 3,000 experience. <laughs> Alright, that's... Pretty sure that's the way forward. There's some treasure. I don't think that's a trap, but I'm feeling paranoid. Bray. I think that's a realm thing. She's an artist. Oh boy, more of these clowns. I'm pretty sure Life Shaver is a drain attack, but it only works. Uh, it bases its success rate off of. Oh, wow, she killed him with Break. That's pretty cool. It only works um, depending on how much damage the guy's been dealt, so. If, a, uh, if an enemy casts it at full health, it's not going to accomplish anything. You may have noticed that the. <laughs> Enemy AI in this game is not always... Oops, alright, so he needs a... He needs an Esper on him. I believe this is the checkpoint. Yup. Alrighty. I'm gonna drop a tent here, and... Save, and then we're gonna go fight some bosses. So I kinda wanna get out of here, because these enemies are mean. Uh, whoops. Wait, did that close back up? another one of those level spells, which uh, nobody was a multiple of four, so we all survived unscathed. That was weird. That closed for whatever reason, but... Oops. Ah. <laughs> Come on. I was hoping we'd get to hit that boss with uh, relatively unscathed, but... C'est la vie. Oh, okay. Shadow and uh, Savin were having none of that nonsense. I think... Yeah, we're basically at the boss. Um... Actually, um, you 
can actually run away here and just go back and escape the floating continent, but uh, I want to finish this place because I don't, I don't want to come back here. Right, we're ignoring this. We're just going to kill these guys and move on. This boss isn't super hard, but he, he can he can catch you by surprise if you're not prepped. Oh, uh, here he is. It's Atma. We remember hearing about this guy. Now well, I'm gonna open by throwing some ninja stars at you, you jerk. He does have some of the coolest battle music in the game, though. Nice. But I think we're gonna make pretty short work of this guy. This team is uh, pretty good at slaughtering bosses, as you may have noticed. Oh, come on, Edgar. Ooh, that's gonna sting, though. It's alright, you hit my beefiest guy, so... I mean, that hurt, but we're still standing. No. That's annoying. That's going to poison everybody, probably. Fine. That was all your full power could muster? Just 400 damage? I mean, it's not nothing, but... Now, this guy's putting up a little bit more of a fight than I was expecting. Ugh. Nuisance. Definitely need to do a little healing. Probably let that slide a little bit more than I should have. There we go. Alright. <laughs> I know everybody's hit points are low, but I was going to get that cure spell off. That wasn't as close as it uh, looked like it might have been. And Shadow was still at full strength. We just have to heal everybody from poison now, which is annoying. Oh, it... Come on, man. <laughs> he runs away just in time to leave us completely uh, incapacitated. All right. I'm going to wrap this up because I... Oops. Am I still po... Oh, I'm not poisoned. That's interesting. Whatever. All right. Story scene. <laughs> Love how Celis just comes scrambling in. <laughs> He's draining all the power from these statues. Mm 
Sorry, if I'm scrolling through the text too fast, I'm just antsy. Paralyzed. Paralyzed with rage. Creepy old man. Stabs Kefka. Like we've all been wanting to. <laughs> I bet he didn't say brat in the Japanese. So I don't know if this is supposed to be the event that finally cracked Kefka. If this, like, if he was basically going to continue being a subordinate of Geshtal and, like, indefinitely until uh, Sulla stabbed him, or if he... Uh, if he was always planning on what was about to happen and um <laughs> well this is this is Kefka's turn you're <laughs> you're seeing the moment where he's decided that he's had enough of being bossed around We never actually see the Emperor in, in battle, so it's interesting to get this vibe. Apparently he's got some pretty uh, beefy spells. It, that was it for the emperor. Much like every emperor in every every square uh, RPG ever, he just is ultimately destroyed by one of his subordinates. <laughs> so long.
Oh boy, and here we go. Remember what uh, they said about not moving the statues? He doesn't really have any reason for doing this, it's just to jack stuff up. Hey, look. It's Shadow. <laughs> Maybe don't fight Kefka that way, Shadow. Yay, he saved us. Now it's time to get the hell out of here because everything's going to explode. Alright, we got six minutes. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, sure, that looks good. <laughs> Alright, we got six minutes. That's plenty of time. We'll get out of here fine, but. Uh, don't want to just totally waste time. Actually, yeah. there we go. Just give her something so she's learning magic while she's. place gradually falls apart. Now, these are the only enemies you end up fighting while you're fleeing, so... And they don't do a heck of a lot. They're pretty uh, weak to a lot of these attacks. Well, he lasted longer than I was expecting him to. Yeah, but you see we're already a minute down, so we gotta kinda move quickly. And there's, um, there's something of a mini-boss we have to fight partway through this, too. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, this, that's a crappy spell. Get frozen, which uh, is kind of like stop, but you have to undo it with a fire spell. Uh, nope, not that way. There's one treasure chest here that I think has something pretty decent in it, and if you try to get it the wrong way, you lose it. Which is annoying. Yeah, I think we want to go around. So I think if I try to get it that way, the ground breaks. Uh, and like I said, there's a mini boss shortly in front of here, but we're we're pretty good. We basically just have to kill the mini boss, and then we're out of here. Yeah, that's decent. Oops. Now, oh, come on, go, go, go. this thing quickly. Gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, he condemns everybody, which gives you a hard time limit on the fight, but if we don't kill him in 30 seconds, uh, it's fine. It's totally fine. 
We're good. We'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not doing that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not, not much to that fellow. Alright. And we should be out of here now. Okay. Um, you can jump or you can wait. If you, uh, if you leave before Shadow gets here, he is dead and gone forever. Um, so we actually do want to wait. I will fast forward through this in the instant, in the interest of not boring everybody, but in the meantime, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna zip forward a minute and a half. Okay, I'm back. I accidentally, uh, turned the recording off, uh, before I did this last little bit, so I just had to do the whole floating continent over again, just so I could record this, this last little bit. That's, uh, that's how dedicated I am to you viewers. All one of you. Anyway, uh, we're getting right down to the wire here. I don't know how much longer we can wait. Uh, oh! And there we go. There he is. <laughs> yeah, so, um, no joke. If you jump without him, he is gone for the rest of the game. He's just, he dies. Uh, so you got to get here with at least five seconds to spare so he can show up and you can you can rescue him uh, So now he will uh, He will be joining us for the rest of the game eventually Otherwise he's dead and gone forever. And he's a pretty decent character. So it'd Be a bummer to lose him Now here's where we get to see the results of uh Kefka's nonsense. Yeah, you saw the open, the unopened treasure chest there, because I just blasted through this place as quickly as possible. I'm gonna reload my old save where I, I made it to the next chunk with all my treasure intact. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save this file. Ooh, stinks to be those guys. Second time in the entire game, you see the imp. Uh oh. Oh no. I hope Setzer didn't have a very high insurance premium. That looks like it's going to be expensive. Big explosions there. I really like this shot here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the, uh... If you get a game over in Chrono Trigger when you're fighting Lavos. You can just see him destroy the whole planet. Yup. Uh, Kafka did some bad stuff. Eshtal's dead, but uh, we didn't manage to stop somebody from seizing the power of the goddess statues, unfortunately. On that day, the world was changed forever. And this was a pretty ominous thing to have happen back in the day. You, you did not succeed <laughs> at saving the world. Now we're uh, hearing this sharp wind blowing. It's reminiscent of the beginning of the game when we stood on the cliff over Narsh looking down and we're looking out over these crimson seas. Well, there's a little island here with a house on it. And there's one bird left. The sole survivor of the planet. We now play the rest of the game as that bird. Oof. Somebody's going to be hearing from the Homeowners Association, I think. There's Celis, so... At least there was one survivor. For some reason, I always remembered it being Locke holding on to Celis when the ship blew up, not Setzer with Terra, but... Hey, and it's Sid. Two whole folks. It's time to sit at this desk and stare at my flowers.
Yeah, I heard you the first time. Now yeah, we've all been there. sentence to start with after the world crumbled well, she is thinking about Locke it's a grim reality trapped on an island with an elderly man dressed like a traffic cone There you have it. In the world of Final Fantasy III, you can actually die of boredom. It's not just something for whiny teenagers to say. That's the spirit lady. Aw, sweet, a sweet little found family moment. Nothing nothing creepy. Just two people, two very sad people trying to take comfort in what little ways they can. Now, so it sounds like Sid's got uh, COVID. Better start social distancing. Yeah, dude, you uh, might want to eat when you're sick. Just saying. Oh, I'll go catch some, she says. Thus begins my least favorite part of this game that I always forget about beforehand. Blanked out. Well, there he is in the bed. All right. So, this is where we're going to wrap up for today, although I'm actually probably going to record another episode right now. Yeah, here we are in this desolate island. Wind whistling in the background. Ominous organ music. I'm sure everything will be fine, though. We, get, we got this. We got this. Okay, folks. Well, until then, uh, I hope you have a great week. I've been Mike. This has been Team Brothership. And uh, we will see you real soon. <laughs>